from the Comedy Mothership here in Austin, Texas for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Give it up for Tony Hitchcock! <laughs> Who's ready for the best fucking night of their lives tonight, huh? You're at the number one live podcast in the world right now. How we feeling tonight? Yeah, baby. This is indeed Kill Tony, brought to you by Squarespace, Shopify, Red Rose, Yellow Rose, and Gel Blaster. How about one more time for the best damn band in the land, huh? Joining us tonight, special guest Terrell Shahid over there on the saxophone, Austin, local legend. Of course, on the drums, the great and powerful Michael Gonzalez. <laughs> Matt Muling is out touring tonight. We are here with the band leader, the legend, every show in Austin, Texas, the one and only John Dees on the keys. <laughs> and fan favorite, and one of my own personal favorites, the great D Madness on the bass guitar, everyone. A lot of fun stuff planned for tonight's episode. Before we start it, here's a little bit more from the amazing sponsors that made it all possible. The Sunset Strip Comedy Club in Austin, Texas is now open. Check out Red Band's secret show every Thursday. Go to sunsetstripatx.com for tickets. Are you guys ready to start tonight's fucking show? Well, well, well. You know, thank God. I might be one of the best fucking comedy bookers on planet Earth because when I smell talent, I attack. It's always been that way. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to present you two of the best goddamn comedians on planet Earth and two of our favorite guests in the history of the show. Two of my funniest friends. Make some noise for Dan Soder and Mark Norman. Let's fucking go. High ranking elite guests of the show. Two of our favorites. Two of the funniest. New York's finest. New York's finest. Not just at comedy, but at life. On 9-11, they were saving people, pulling them from the buildings. Oh, how about a hand for the lovely Heidi, everybody? I mean, holy shit. Right when this sausage fest got a little too sausagey, here she is to add a little feminine energy, some good, some good oh, yeah. mojo. I'll how about a hand for Heidi, out. everybody? Yeah. Follow her at Gina A A. A dot H G. It's the worst Instagram handle of all time. It's completely hot. Worst marketing of all time for a hot chick. Literally. 
Gina is not even her name. Her name is Heidi, and her Instagram is Gina with Wait, three really? A's dot H G. Yeah, it makes ah, no sense. I've been calling her Gina all night. Well, it's also that weird that her Instagram handle is like a tough Wi-Fi password. Yeah. Yeah. Right. No, it really is. It's absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, we're happy to have you guys. Welcome. We have one more special treat, ladies and gentlemen. One of the greatest band members in the history of the show is here joining us. Ladies and gentlemen, you know where you love her. This is the great Jetski Johnson, everybody. Oh, shit. Rum, 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 rum. Only the old school fans know about that shit. Jetski's hilarious. And she also plays the horn. But she has a live mic and is absolutely phenomenally, phenomenally hilarious. And when she is, when she says something funny afterwards, everybody goes, rum, 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 rum. You guys get it? Yeah, it was... Do it. Rum. You have to do louder than that. Try again. Okay, there you go. You guys get it. Nice look. I like that. Hell yeah. It's fun. You'll see when it happens in action. She's a fucking little sniper. Hi, Jet Ski. Hey. I'm no Heidi. I'm all personalities. <laughs> <laughs> and it has begun. There you, there you go, motherfuckers. Absolutely. Yeah. Other than that, you guys know how it works. Over 200 innocent souls signed up for the opportunity to perhaps get 60 seconds on this stage. We'll let this little hanger fucking go up first. And while we wrangle the first comedian, and as you know, they get 60 seconds. You know their time is up when you're the sound of a kitten. That means they have to wrap it up, and then I'll say bring out the angry best Hollywood bear. And then we interview them. We talk to them about anything that could be happening in their lives or what might makes them interesting or what might be funnier for them to talk about. The whole thing's improvised. Anything can happen. Are you guys ready to start tonight's fucking show? Yeah. While we grab the lucky human that will be going first out of our bucket pools, we have a regular on this show. He has been starting every episode for the last few weeks. He's an absolute fucking sensation, a local icon, a comics comic, and also a fans comic. Uh, an absolute freak of nature, a bundle of energy, a power source. He literally is like a solar panel. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the great and powerful 60 Seconds Uninterrupted from Casey Rocket. <laughs> The world is a vampire. Hell yeah, there we go. Very cool, hell yeah. Maybach music, all right, very cool. Get lost, God. I'm riffing for two tonight, boys. I'm pregnant, okay, cool. <laughs> Get lost, God. Nights like this, I wish I was still covered in mud hiding from the predator, you know what I mean? Just hoping he'd get close so I could steal a kiss, all right? <laughs> oh, I gotta get out of here. I got a date tonight, fellas. Yeah, her name, Hot Singles. Her location, in my area. Uh, the sex, casual and anonymous. No strings attached. Is she HIV positive? Oh, no. Is she going to try to steal my wallet later? Oh, yeah. Is it a decoy wallet? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Get real. I'll take it. I'll end it on oh that. Thank you. Oh, my God. And that is the launch of thy Casey Rocket. Thank you. An absolute force of fucking nature. And meanwhile, you. you've done it again. Thank you, boys. Happy to be here. Hello. <laughs> He's also running for mayor. Uh, <laughs> The pleasure's all mine, Tony. Happy to be here in the 21st District of Austin today. Absolutely. Zero laughs. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. It was going good. <laughs> it was going good before. Oh, shit. In the moment, wild, the great Jack the Riffer, some people call him. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of these uh, nicknames, right? Cal Rifkin Jr. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Riffy Longstockings. <laughs> the Boy Who Riffed. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, the Hack Brown Band. <laughs> I didn't know. That's not one of them, actually. Ken Riffey Jr., perhaps? Ken Riffey Jr., yep. Yeah. Who? Um, riff Raff? Riff Raff, yeah. Choosy Moms Choose Riff? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, riffs, it's, uh, it's what's for dinner. Yeah. yeah. Riffrent strokes for riffrent folks. Riffrent. That's right, yeah. Yeah. Stuff like that, what most of What are you talking about, Tony? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Red Band got excited on that one. <laughs> I love it. So what's been going on, Casey Rocket? Everything good? <clears throat> been good. Yeah, I was in uh, Chicago Thursday, Wisconsin Friday, rally. Yesterday, been going around. It's been going good. So I've been doing that. Philly tomorrow. Hell yeah. Big laughs. Yeah. Wow. Going You're good. just flying around. Flying around. You said around rally the yesterday. What kind of rally was it? <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> was there a tiki torch? Yeah. <laughs> he really does look like he sets up the rallies. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you look like the first half of the show intervention. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not true. <laughs> so true. Now the interesting thing about Casey is that, and I don't want to like blow your cover or get too personal, but you're sober, right? Whoa. Yeah, I'm sober. I've been sober for years. Yeah, Maybach music. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Damn, dude, that must have been a wild ride when you were. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tell us some stories. Oh. Yeah. There's some res- residual stuff going on for sure upstairs. Yeah. Uh, AIDS. AIDS. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you don't get sober from that. That's permanent. <laughs> That's uh, true. <laughs> it does appear as if though you did do enough drugs to just last. <laughs> Ride the wave. Casey, can I ask you a personal question? Absolutely. Was it huffing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we used to huff. Ether. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Ether, air duster. Yeah. Whippets. Whippets. Yeah. 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 Good tie-in. You need any? <laughs> you no, got whippets. No. <laughs> we can get them. I yeah, I used to huff. Yeah, Hillary Duff huff. Yeah, I used to huff. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's all about it. Yeah, there's a demographic for huffing. Are and, you a religious uh, guy? Mm-mm. No. Where do you get your energy? <laughs> Wait, do you think that's what religious think, people yeah. are like? Yeah. Do you think they just get their, their energy from yeah. God? He yes, was, he's got the Lord in him. He thought it was from God. <laughs> he really does. He does. You Dude, got, you crap to some Pentecostal shit and you get fucking nuts. You got born again Christian vibes. <laughs> it is true. You ever go to church, Casey? Mm-mm. No. Really? No, not me. What happens if you step inside of a church? <laughs> Turn to stone, I guess, yeah. He really would look like he could crawl on the ceilings without notice. You're like, oh my God! <laughs> He's here. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to haunt me later. Just take a straw, yeah, put right. it right in the holy water, let him know you're there. Yeah. 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 I love it, Casey. Atheist. Atheist. Oh, I thought you said Caseyist. I was like, yeah, I no, got yeah. sorry. I'm a Caseyist. Well, I think you have a new uh, name for your fans. Caseyist. Yeah. 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 There you go. Yeah, Casey Enthusiast. We were in Chicago on Thursday and a big Casey Rocket crowd, and this guy, uh, I guess, ate too many edibles and he passed out in the second row. He like fell on his face and had to do a fucking riff resurrection. Had to bring him back. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. second riffing. What? Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Jesus God Christ, Michael. Michael. God damn. That Chinaman. Very scary. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, that is like you're trying to show anger. Casey, yeah. you're an absolute fucking machine. No better way Thank I can you. imagine in the world to get an episode of this show started with your energy, with your jokes, your fucking bing, bing, boom, boom. You Thank truly you. are. Thank the you, riff guys. Master. Hell yeah. So fun. Thank you. Yeah. Make some fucking noise for Casey Rocket, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you do it. The regulars of Kill Tony are freaks of nature. Now we go to the bucket. Now this is where we found all of the regulars. This is where anything can happen. Maybe it's the best set we've ever seen in the history of the show. Maybe it's the worst. Maybe they're a genius. Maybe they're insane. Maybe they're a 20-year veteran. Maybe it's their first time. Your first bucket pull of the night, getting 60 seconds uninterrupted, goes by the name of Raul Sanchez. And here we go. Thank you. Uh, I like drinking, man. Uh, Makes me a pleasant human being. Um, Sometimes I get a little too fucked up, though. Like, one time I got so drunk, I caught myself speeding on the highway because I confused the number of the highway with the speed limit sign. I was like, 97, fuck. (laughs) That was pretty specific, no? (laughs) Then I thought, I better go 92 just to be safe. (laughs) You know how the cops are around here, man. You guys never got that fucked up? (laughs) 
Dude, one time I was at a bar. I got hammered, right? And I started talking to this chick, and we hit it off, right? So I decided to buy one of those condoms from the machines in the bathroom. Yeah, and then later that night, we were about to get it on. I opened it up, and it was too Advil. <laughs> but I was so drunk, I was like, man, technology's come a long way. <laughs> Oh, my goodness gracious. Raul Sanchez has arrived, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. With an uh, unbelievable uh, minute. Thank you, it's my time. Oh, my goodness. Now, Raul, I know you. Uh, you're a fucking great comedian from Dallas, am I correct? San Antonio. San Antonio, that's yeah. right. You were on this show there, correct? Uh, no. No? No, this is my first time. Uh, but I know you from, how did you end up opening uh, for me? I opened, I opened for you in uh, Cap City when I used to live here. That's right. And uh, you were coming down here all That's the time. right. Yeah. And I had you do it a few times after that, right? Yeah, a couple yeah. of times. I think two or three times I featured for you. Because you're know? fucking hilarious. I appreciate Look it. Look at you. I love Very it. Funny. Now you're in the Very mix funny. here. That was great. Yeah, man. Yeah, you're, Mark uh, Norman. That was killer. You're really good, and just in true Mexican fashion, you're going to take our jobs. <laughs> yeah, it is true. Dan. What I love about Raul is he feels like you're just hanging out with a dude you work with that you get, that you get drunk with, and you're like, dude, Raul's fucking hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> uh. You're like, you hear him talking about highways? It's yeah. fucking nuts. It's all the landscaping guys yeah. getting together. Yeah. Right. And, then they, yeah, and then they call him gay for being too funny. Right, right. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> so, Raul, you're, you're a freak of nature. How long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, 13 years. 13 motherfucking years. That's right, see, hey. I love that. I love that people that have been doing it that long sign up for the show. You come here. You fucking flex. You showcase your goddamn skills. And now look at you. You're right here. Absolutely thriving in the mix. How do you make a living? Just from stand-up? Uh, stand-up. And uh, I also get uh, disability from the VA. Uh. <laughs> oh, wow. You're a veteran. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, they're four years in the in the army. Mexican army? Uh, no, the Alamo. Uh, Airborne infantry. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> you were in the air force? Oh uh, no, airborne infantry. Just oh. jump out of planes. Okay. Oh yeah. boy, the All migrants right. are getting good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> air dropping them. Yep. That's a way to get over the fence. <laughs> Incredible. So what were you doing? You were jumping out of planes? Uh, yeah. Uh, and then, uh, well, not in country. Once we were in, like, Iraq and Afghanistan, it was a lot of, like, just uh, busting people's doors open. Whoa. In the middle of the night. Okay. <laughs> Kill any uh, kids? Uh, uh, <laughs> no, it was, like, fully grown men. <laughs> All right. Bust. Hell yeah. <laughs> I feel like if someone from the army was here, they'd go like, hey, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. I said, we were kicking right. doors down and fucking people up. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I love it. So, but sometimes you would jump out of an airplane. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was uh, like you have to practice it, like for when you, I guess, if we ever get into a real war with like people that got like real stuff. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, luckily, that that's never happened in our lifetime. <laughs> Instead, oh, thank God. we just like to fucking <laughs> practice a lot, I guess. Oh my God. I can't picture. I don't think I've seen a lot of Mexican uh, people jumping out of the old uh, jumping bean. You know what I mean? I haven't seen this before. There's a lot, actually. There are? Is yeah. that what we have them doing? Wait, did you just try to compare Mexicans jumping out of airplanes like to black people swimming? It feels yeah. like you made the jump. I mean... Where you're like, I don't see, you don't see a lot of Mexican skydivers. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. They like the land. Yeah. They, they like, like the to ground. be right on ground level. <laughs> yeah. Landscaping, land, people. They're people. <laughs> they are people of the land. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. Uh, so, you come from a big family, Raul? Uh, no, it's just uh, me and my sister. Wow, another stereotype. Un completely broken by Raul Sanchez. <laughs> well, I, actually, uh, we did come over here illegally back in 91. <laughs> oh, hey, okay. boy. Raul, you were out. You didn't have to say anything. Dude, you're a... <laughs> you were defining a new generation of Latinos. Yeah. I know. But 91, we straight up stuck <laughs> yeah, in here. Yeah, so. right? You talk about the army, this, you're, you're an open pamphlet. Wow. <laughs> Thank God you didn't get captured. I <laughs> know. Uh, 
That's a good one, though. I mean, you're one of the good ones. Oh. You come over. <laughs> Comedians. Wait Comedians. a second. How is that a bad thing? How <laughs> is that the Mexicans are laughing? Yeah, but if you follow uh, the trail. The Latinos, you can... I just got a fucking thumbs up, a brown thumb. Yeah. <laughs> I just got hey, it. I that joke it. was over the line, and so is he. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to cross anybody's borders here, yeah. but. <laughs> That is incredible. So you came here illegally and just joined the army. See, that's fair. That's, that's how fair. it should be. You want to come here illegally? Join the army. I like Serve it. Serve your time. The Asian Mexican's not having this. He's just <laughs> fucking pissed right now. Like, Asian yeah. Mexican? Well, you don't wow. see him and he's wearing a Hawaiian shirt and he looks shaped Samoan. He's, he's got everything. They call him Don Mo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love it, bro. <laughs> That wasn't it, your joke. It was a genuine, I was like, I'm regathering yeah, yeah. myself. Uh, I love it. Raul, what else would we be surprised to know about you in your life? This is a very interesting set and interview. Uh, You're absolutely killing um, it. Uh, I used to be a drug addict. Hey. Okay. Well, what are we talking? What kind of drug? Uh, mostly cocaine. Like free. Okay. A lot uh, of fucking, a lot of people going 97 and a 75 back there. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. Where would you do the cocaine? What was like your routine? Where would it get? What would it? My homie was a dealer yep. and we used to just kick it in uh, his like back room behind his parents' house. Yeah. Like he was set up there and we used to just like stay up all night until uh, do coke till we threw up. Yeah. I don't mean to judge your friend, but he sounds like a really shitty coke dealer. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, we'll go yeah, to the place would. behind my parents and just do all my stash. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was a pretty bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> what would you guys do for fun after you do the cocaine? What would you guys do? Like, uh, this is around the time that I started doing stand up. Okay. So it was, uh, and I, I, after a while, I was like stand up starting to get in the way of uh, the coke. <laughs> <laughs> and, yep. uh, yeah, it got out of hand pretty quick. And, yep. and, and I ran out of money and I just stopped. There wow. you go. There a you natural go. end to an addiction. Yeah. <laughs> Stand up started getting in the way of my addiction. <laughs> but stand up won. You, you stop yeah. coke, you're still doing stand up. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah you have one minute yeah. of material. I'm all, uh, thank you. Do you ever get tempted to do it? Do you ever have a moment of weakness? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. What, what does that take? Is that been, has that, does that happen when you're well, out? I just do it. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> That's a way to do it. Absolutely. Cool. He's admitted ah. to three felonies here, for those of you <laughs> keeping track. Army, border jumping, <laughs> drugs. <Yeah. laughs> Every time I'm like, he's one of the good ones. He's like, I do cocaine all the time. I'm like, okay. But no, I was not in the anymore. army. All right. But what do you I got think? here illegally. Oh. What do you think about catalytic converters? Like, do you get them for free or do you buy them? No, somebody tried to steal one out of a rental. Uh, out of our house, yeah. So I would love to have you on the secret show sometime if you can. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! Yeah, look at that. I appreciate it. Thank there you. There you go. You passed the catalytic converter test. <laughs> it's one of the only ways to get booked on the secret show. This is a legit, nice leather joke book. You could fucking do blow off it or something like uh, that. Yeah, He's generic Raul on social media, all one word. I mean, that's as, about as good as it can get out that of the bucket. Killer. Make some noise for Raul Sanchez. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, wow. What a start of the show so far. This, right now, we're on pace for episode of the year. It happens that quick. Oh, look at the lovely Heidi. Hey, I mean, my yeah. goodness gracious. Jeez, Louise. Are we the luckiest people on planet Earth or what? I'm okay. sorry I looked at your boobs. <laughs> He's got the bottom boob. I feel like I really got caught. I looked over to you, screw forward. I was like, I'm sorry. Yeah. I know, it's hard. You think that's bad? I saw Deep Madness look at her boobs, too. That's, <laughs> fucking, that's the weird part. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> Hey, all this podcast is sponsored by Squarespace, the all in one website platform for entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online. Whether you're just starting out or managing a growing brand, Squarespace makes it easy to create a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything from products to content to time. All in one place, all on your terms, Red Ban. Tony, I've used Squarespace a lot. I love Squarespace with a fiery passion. Ooh. And I tell you that over the phone almost every night That's when true. I call you. That's true. You call yeah, me yeah, a yeah. lot. Oh, yeah. We talk because we're good.
good friends. Yep. I just love how easy it is to make a website with them. Upload, organize, and access all your content from one place with the new asset library. You're able to manage all your files from one central hub and use them across the Squarespace platform. Sell your products online, whether you sell physical, digital, or service products, Squarespace has the tools you need to start selling online. That's right, Red Band. You can easily sell custom merch and create a passive income that engages your audience and scales your brand. Design your products and production inventory and shipping is handled for you, saving you time and money. There's no doubt about it. Making a website has never been easier thanks to Squarespace. So do yourself a favor and head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Kiltoni to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain right now. Good evening. This podcast is sponsored by Shopify. Perfect combos, peanut butter and jelly, spaghetti and meatballs, Red Band and Tony Hinchcliffe. Now you and Shopify. Now that's a combo, my friend. Shopify is the global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business from the launch, your online shop stage to the first real life store stage, all the way to the, did we just hit a million orders stage? Shopify is here to help you grow. Whether you're a selling center soap or offering outdoor outfits. Shopify helps you sell everywhere from their all-in-one e-commerce platform to their in-person POS system, wherever and whatever you're selling, Shopify's got you covered. Red Band. Shopify helps you turn browsers into buyers with the internet's best converting checkout, up to 36% better compared to the other leading commerce platforms. And sell more with less effort, thanks to Shopify Magic, your AI-powered all-star. I know I love Shopify so much, Red Band. I mean, it's crazy. I love love Shopify more than I love women and men. What? I love that no matter how big you want your business to grow, Shopify gives you all the tools you need to take control and take that business to the next level. Did you know Shopify powers 10% of all e-commerce in the U.S.? Shopify is the global force behind Allbirds, Rothy's, Kill Merch, and millions of other entrepreneurs use it across 175 countries. Plus, Shopify's extensive help resources are there to support your success every step of the way because businesses that grow, grow with Shopify. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash killtony, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash killtony now to grow your business no matter what stage you're in. Shopify.com slash kill Tony. All right, your next bucket pool goes by the name of Pamela Galvez, everybody. Pamela Galvez, 60 seconds uninterrupted. Oh, shit. Here we go. What's up, everybody? So... I want to open up a pegging gym for women so that we can have nice, strong cores because uh, I used to date this bisexual guy and we used to have strap-on Sundays. And, uh, oh, if, in case you don't know what pegging means, pegging means when a girl, I guess, wears a plastic dick and puts it in the butt of the guy. And um, it made me really appreciate what you guys go through. It's a lot of fucking work. It's a lot of work to do this, and, and it's very hard to find the hole, too. And I, I thought, like, all the position, the, I thought, like, uh, <laughs> when he was on top of me, that would be easy. No, that wasn't easy. But, um, guys, if your dick could get pregnant, you wouldn't want to stick it everywhere. So just, you know, because you guys always want to, like, stick your penises everywhere. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, 55 seconds from I Pamela wanted to Galvez. Be, I wanted to be. You what? I wanted to stay on time. There you go. You're on time. Rare <laughs> for your people. Cause um, yeah, because, you know, I'm, I'm never, exactly, I'm never on time. What ethnicity are you exactly? Dominicana. Dominicana. Oh, shit. Dominicana. Okay, we got it. One time's good Dominica. enough. Dominicana. <laughs> She was hypnotizing yeah. Mark. Yeah. Mark, was starting to pre- Mark was starting to present to her. <laughs> I want some rice and beans. Yeah. <laughs> she said it three times. Yeah. <laughs> you say Dominicana three times, guava juice shows up out of nowhere. <laughs> this is an incredible Dan. Peg Bundy, how many times have you done it? Peg Bundy, oh, oh uh, I did it like 
Five times. It was amazing. Same, I felt, du- same dude? Same dude. Yeah, yeah. it was amazing. So Ooh, ladies, please bottom. try it. Please try it. Oh, I th- you feel so powerful. I was like, oh, now I get it. What got, it's, it it's a good feeling. So, okay. you know, All right. returning the favor. Okay. Anyone, anyone else? <laughs> anyone else hard? Yeah. Just, just, <laughs> yeah. It's getting hot in here. Oh, oh shit. There goes oh, the jacket. Look at this. Busy. This is like a fucking, uh, this is like a, all right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't say Dominican again or they'll appear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it. Uh, has anyone ever told you that you're like if Frederick Douglass and Frederick Krueger had a baby? <laughs> I like it. Uh, how long you been doing stand-up, Pamela? Three years. Where at? New York City and oh. L.A. and Miami. And, you know, you got to spread around, right? You got to spread yourself around, right? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Spread those cheeks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes, exactly. And lube it up, too. Oh, I mean, yeah. oh mm-hmm. shit. Okay. I'm scared shitless of this lady. <laughs> I told you I, I, I want to open up a pegging gym for women. It's, sure. It's good, Bad idea. Good core. <laughs> 24-hour shitness. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that does happen. <laughs> okay, so uh, Pamela, what do you do for a living? How do you make money? Um, I am a registered nurse. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh. I thought she was going to be sex offender. <laughs> <laughs> School nurse. There's the jet skis. The jet skis have arrived. D Mad. All right, we get it. You're going pee, D Madness. There, there he goes. 15 minutes into the show, his first pee break, everybody. There he goes. A true professional D madness. Um, I, I bet you're going hard with that thermometer in there, huh? In the, in the butthole. Loop it up, baby. Loop oh. it up. Oh, okay. my God. Tony, so I know you wanted to be a heart doctor. See, I, have op- I had open heart surgery. Okay. ASD. ASD. Atrial septic defect. So, you know, heart, we're heart people. So okay. So that's all. I just wanted so to So what was the defect? Supraventricular tachycardia? Yes, wow, yes. Wow, look at that. There yeah. you go. No big deal. Yeah. What? <laughs> Tony, you have no heart. <laughs> exactly. I know. That's like the, like, yeah. <laughs> it's like the ultimate tale, you know, a man with no heart wanted to be a heart doctor, a little boy. <laughs> Shocking. Uh-oh. So when did you have the surgery? When I was seven years old. Wow. Mm. Incredible. Mm-hmm. I wear my scar very proudly, so... I yes. love it. I love it. Yeah. Absolutely we should incredible. should all wear our scars and everything okay. proudly. Okay, over so. here, over here. Sorry. Really <laughs> long, long answers to yes or no questions. Uh, what do you do for fun, Pamela? Um, I like to go to the beach and swim and do comedy. Okay. Yeah. You like to swim? I love to swim. What kind yeah. of swimming do you do? It makes do? me feel free. Like no, you know, there's no uh, no gravity. You're just just you and your thoughts. Yeah. That's kind of how water works. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's also how people from the Dominican Republic get here. Um, yeah. It is incredible following yeah. in your ancestors' footsteps there. Um, Pamela, what else? Tell me something interesting about you. Swimming isn't really cutting it for yeah, me. Yeah, I know. Um, uh, <laughs> where, where are you at on Dominicans saying the N word? Is that allowed? Good mm, question. That's a, that's a, that's a, yeah, that's a, that's a touchy one. So, what do you, what do you think? You're Dominican. Dominican, See, Dominican. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't like. Mm, I don't, you don't do it. You would pass the test on yeah. a police. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd pull you over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely reg- register with an HOA. Yeah. Uh, um, so I, uh, I also do uh, comedy for disabled comedians. Ooh. I'm, I'm disabled too. You just can't see it, you know. Cuckoo, obviously. And uh, so, yeah, so. Um, really? Uh, it's very passion, uh, passion of mine. Yeah. Whoa. I, I call, yeah. Dan Soder. The, the more and more we go on, the more and more I see how crazy that guy is for letting you peg him. <laughs> Oh, uh, you know what? I feel what? like you didn't have a safe word at all. No, we didn't. He broke up with me on Valentine's Day. Uh, of this so year? I'm very, yeah, just now. He oh just broke up with me on Valentine's goodness. Day. What was his reasoning? My ass Too is bleeding. Uh, he, he could, <laughs> He couldn't handle my uh, my craziness. He broke your heart. You broke he his broke back. My Absolutely heart. incredible. <laughs> <laughs> on Valentine's Day, how on did Valentine's how did he break Day. it to you? Was it a text call? Text after three and a half years. Three and a half years. Three and a half years in a text. Good for fucking his butt, lady. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Exactly. Yeah. Good job. Fucking wow. in the butt. Wow. Damn, Pegasaurus. <laughs> no, that's. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> 
Work it, work it. I like that one. I like that one. I like that one. Pegasaurus. Unbelievable. Yeah. So he left you on Valentine's You guys didn't get to hang out on Valentine's Day. No. Mm-mm. Wow. Did you Mm-mm. get him anything? Did you have something prepared for Valentine's Day? Perhaps some uh, melted uh, bedroom chocolates or something like that right, to blend right, in with the sheets? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why you always have to have tissue on the side to... Yeah, clean it up. Okay. Gosh, wow, we're still. Oh my gosh, we're talking about poop stuff and butts. That's the, you, what you did. <laughs> yeah. You brought that up. Congratulations. I did, I that did. was your 55 <laughs> seconds. You created this for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Pamela, here's a little joke book. There you go. All right, we're having fun here. You guys having fun? All right, another bucket pull. Here we go. Anything can happen. Make some noise for Jay Hinsdale, everybody. Jay Hinsdale. Here he is. Jay Hinsdale. Oh, crap. Uh, I was at a strip club during the day recently. I wasn't there for any particular reason. I was just trying to get my mom's engagement ring back. Going going to a strip club during the day is weird, though. Going to a strip club during the day is kind of like going to a haunted house at night. It's dark. You feel like you're not supposed to be there. Walls are covered in ectoplasm. (laughs) Seeing a stripper during the day is weird, too. Seeing a stripper during the day is kind of like seeing Batman during the day. They both got cool costumes, but you can see the scars. Batman fights crime, stripper fights crime. The catch and release is a little different for the stripper, but she does keep criminals off the streets for an unspecified amount of time, and if you read the comics, that's better than Batman. (laughs) Sorry, I have a touch of the tism. (laughs) Wow, yet another unbelievable minute here tonight. Jay Hinsdale. Am I saying that correctly, Jay? Yeah, I usually go by JP, but uh, I forgot to add the P. Uh, there you go. Absolutely. Well, welcome. Have you been on this show before? Yeah, I was actually on the show the first episode you did with an audience after COVID. At, a- at Antone's? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Our first episode in Austin. Yeah, you ruined my life. Uh, I did? How did I do no, that? No. You gave me dreams and hope and... <laughs> Look where a guy is. I know, man. That's incredible. This is amazing. Uh, so what have you been doing? How long have you been doing stand-up? Four years now. Did, you didn't start on the show. You were doing it for a year or so before? I, I was doing it for three months, and I got pulled. It was. It changed my life, man. Yeah. For real. Amazing. Tell us more about that. I, I'm interested for the people at home to hear what happens when you uh, make an impression on Kill Tony. How did it change your life? I just... it. I was, I was three months in, man, and I was like, you know, you're at the point when you start where you think you're kidding yourself, and like you, like were so fucking nice to me, like that was crazy, no, like for real, like you were, like, you're the reason that I kept going. Yeah. You hear that, you faggots? It's me. I love it. Absolutely. That would have been the perfect sentence before he shot you. <laughs> he does have the name of an assassin. Yeah. Jay Hinsdale. <laughs> then assassinated Tony Hinchcliffe. It was a great set. Really Thank good you. set. Thank great. you. I appreciate Unlike it. Unlike you, your jokes have no fat on them. Yeah, I know. But yeah. um, I, I once went to an Antifa-sponsored vegan barbecue for trans awareness. Oh, no. Yeah. I found out they don't accept trans fats. Uh, <laughs> Wow. Yes. I love it. You, you've got the face of Shane Gillis and the body of David Lucas. <laughs> it is incredible. You are a machine, J.P. Hinsdale. I'm just going to write in the P and call you J.P. Is that okay? That's great. Thank you. All right. Hey, you're welcome. So now you've been doing it, what would you say, four years? Four years, yeah. And uh, what you make a living doing it? No. <laughs> <laughs> right. How do you uh, how do you provide for yourself? Uh, I had to wait for a relative to die. Uh, <laughs> oh, good. Shows patience, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. she held on a good long while, and <laughs> yeah, you're next, baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
I love it. Who was it? Grandma? Yeah. Well, how did she die? Oh, uh, she was just, it was getting that time. I was like, honestly, it just happened this year. It was pretty messed up, man. Like, was there a, okay, red band relax. Jesus yeah, Christ. Mostly because my mom didn't die. And that was just. Right. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> well, now we know your pecking order. Yeah, yeah. exactly. She had a pegging order. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, hindsight's twenty twenty with a dildo. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, JP, touche, touche. There you go. All right. So what do you do? you live in Austin? Yes, sir. What do you do for fun? Uh, this. <laughs> right. Have you been signing up a lot? We haven't seen you in. Um. Yeah, I've been signing up since I moved here, and even before I was coming out every Monday. So we haven't gotten you on since the first episode in Austin, Texas, which is well over three years ago. Yeah. And you've been signing up continuously. Like off and on when I could get here, but in the past three months, I've been signing up every week. Amazing. Yeah, it's fucking tricky with hundreds of people in the bucket. This is a perfect example of the fucking randomness of the show. But, you know, I was just telling, uh, I think it was Rogan the other night that... uh, you know, William signed up for, I think it was a year or something crazy, continuously, and did, he never once got up. And then after a year, we pull his name out of the bucket, and now he has the record for most appearances and interviews all time on the show. So it goes to show that fucking, you know, persistence and everything is uh, whatever. You're fat. Let's talk about <laughs> it. Um, what do you like to eat, JP? Um, yeah, uh, dude. Wait, yeah. What don't you like to eat? Uh, Let's start there. What's the late night fucking gluttonous pleasure? Yeah, tell us, Taste Oracle. Taste, yeah. okay. It's not pussy. Not pussy. Uh-uh. <laughs> no. When I can, but it's a delicacy. Uh. <laughs> incredible. Absolutely incredible. I bet you eat it all up, too, buddy. Oh, like German chocolate cake. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible that you're the bucket pool that doesn't have the heart surgery scar in between your breasts. No, it's only because I can't afford it. <laughs> right. Well, you be careful. We might start a heart surgery go <laughs> find me. Uh, incredible, JP. Do you ever exercise? What's the most motion that you do in a week? Um, I get off. out of bed. That's pretty difficult. There you go. I, I do have a bad leg, so that makes things... What's, what's wrong with your leg? I broke it, and I didn't have health insurance, so it just kind of healed wrong. Oh... Is what? it is it visible? Yeah, or? you want to see it? Yeah, yeah, we would love to see. Oh, 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 shit! You got a homeless leg. Yeah, yeah, you do. Oh man, the, the ankle goes. For those of you who are just listening to the podcast, the ankle stays the same size all the way up to the oh. knee. Yeah, there's no definition oh, man, there. I bet you could boot the shit out of a soccer ball. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Bring Raúl back up. Let's see. <laughs> Okay. Uh, JP, anything else that uh, we should know about you before letting you uh, go back? Um, I did just come out this year as bisexual. Oh! Yeah. Oh, my God. I, I did it at 40 just in time for it to be gross. Holy <laughs> shit. Absolutely. Now you're going to be turned down by two genders. I know. <laughs> yeah. Twice the rejection. I don't know this if my heart can take it. Incredible. <laughs> yeah. I don't think your heart can take much. <laughs> So what made you come out as bi? How does this happen exactly? Uh, you might understand this, Tony. Yes, yes. of course. <laughs> you son of a bitch. This is what happens. You changed my life, Tony. You made me believe in my dreams, Tony. Yeah. It's all thanks to you, Tony. Yeah. You're fucking gay, Tony. <laughs> so every Monday. Well, he does have the cattiness of a gay guy. Yes. Like, I don't know. Have you ever been in a relationship so toxic that you considered taking dick again? <laughs> What's like, the again I part? didn't like it so much when I was 11, but I've matured a lot since then. Hold on. This is all moving good. too I fast for that. me. That was good. This is all moving too fast for me. Were you in a relationship with a girl and she broke your heart? Yeah. How did that happen? She well, break up with you on Valentine's Day? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's uh, she... like our, our, our uh, psychological problems were too connected. <laughs> it just got bad. <laughs> Is she yeah. dead? No. <laughs> not but she's for, on the pecking order yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, she's right not, behind not, mom. not for lack of trying. <laughs> it goes mom, Rebecca. <laughs> yeah. And then my stupid dead grandma. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hell yeah. So and, how's the bisexuality been working? Are you on an app or something yeah. like that? Dude, guys are fucking savage. Yeah. Well, like savage, bro. Yeah. Is that, I don't know if it's good or bad. Bad savage. Like, dude, I don't, like, man, I, I remember the first night I was out, this, like, guy was coming up, he's like, hey, can I blow you in the bathroom? And I was like, I, I'm just new to this. I'm not quite ready for this shit yet. Oh, my God. What and a gay on. bitch you yeah. are. Yeah. Dude, get that dick sucked, yeah. bro. Yeah. We go to Barnes yeah. & Noble. But like, um, you want to suck my dick? I'm new at this. Yeah. Uh, but literally, I, like, five minutes later, he's like, at first he's like, I understand. And then five minutes later, he's like, hey, you want me to suck your dick in the bathroom? And I was like, dude, we just talked about this. I was like, whew, take it easy. But Let somebody see your dick. I know. Because you're not seeing it. No. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus I had Christ. somebody describe it to me once. Apparently, it's majestic. Uh, hey. Well, if it's anything like your leg, it's yeah. huge. Yeah. What kind of? It's gig- a sight to behold, either way. Yeah. What Fuck are the it. apps you're on? Uber Eats. Yeah. <laughs> Grub Sub. I love it. I love it. So, what gay shit have you done? Uh. Well, I was driving Lyft for a while. Wait, what? <laughs> what? Yeah, so- I was driving. Well, like the, my first. Oh. N- my first night, I was driving Lyft. Like I picked up this dude at a bar and. Like, he was just sitting in the back. He was, like, making out with his dude when I picked him up. And he was then he, making out with a woman when you picked him no, up? No, he was making out with a dude. Oh, gotcha. And then he gets in the car, and he's like, I hate this shit. And I'm like, what? I'm like, he's like, I hate hooking up with straight guys. Yeah. And I was like, that, that guy was straight? And he's like, yeah, he came in with his girlfriend. I'm like, I'm pretty sure he didn't come out that way. Yeah. <laughs> and then he was like, so we're just sitting, tra- talking, having a like a normal, chill conversation. And then While get, you're driving him, yeah. So where's he going home? Yeah, he's going home. And uh-huh. then we then we get to his destination. Wait, he's like, take off your hat again. You're like a gay jelly roll. Look at this, everybody. <laughs> Look at this fucking smelly roll over yeah. here. Oh my goodness! You're gonna sing the national anthem for us? I love it. I mean, if you want, I'll get the words wrong. Oh, but- <laughs> gay, can you see? All right. Oh, okay. Shit. <laughs> So what happens then? Well, he's like, hey, you want me to suck your dick? Wait a second. Yeah, We've heard this up. before. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you like a bug zapper for people that I don't want to suck dick? <laughs> Just everyone's like, I got to suck this guy's yeah. dick. I've always I'm... wanted to know what it feels like to have a belly on my head as I <laughs> blow a guy. It's a moth to a flamer. <laughs> Look, I, I understand it less than you do. I, you know, I've never heard somebody ask me that question <laughs> until recently. Um, well, when it rains, it pours. It does. Uh... But he goes like, hey, man, you want me to suck your dick? And I'm like, um, th- I thought about it. I was like, that's really nice of you, but. <laughs> you are the worst at turning down fucking blowjobs. I, I, I knew it this. Oh, that's very nice but, of you. But then he was like, like. Um, You've been you know, blown on the clock. I know. I know. I, I would have gotten more than just the tip. Um, <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> So like he's like I'm like ah um, thank you but I'm um, I'm okay. By the, way, by the way, let me just point out that you can tell D Madness is homophobic. <laughs> it's because he keeps playing the Law and Order. <laughs> he thinks being gay is so wrong that it's a crime. Now 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 like we hear you, D Madness. In You're saying so much with your bass guitar right now. Like that's s- not. It's not. Look, I I grew up Irish Catholic, so I feel the same way uh, <laughs> about okay, myself so then what happened i cut off your story there. so then he's like well at least let me see it and i was like i, I was i was an altar boy i'm not it's like i know that trick and <laughs> it's just fool me once shame on you uh, <laughs> and then, and then, so he's like well at least describe it to me and i was like it was like two in the morning it's like i've never had to describe my penis channel challenge accepted you know <laughs> So, like, it didn't take long. I explained it. And then, you know, after that, he was like, how are you going to describe your penis to me and not let me see it? Can I ask you how you described your penis? It was a windy night. Yeah. (laughs) I was new at this. Yes. I was feeling my loins burning in a certain direction. I mean, it's it's distinguished, but it leans a little to the left. Um, Just like your leg. Exactly. <laughs> I love it's it. It's a structural issue. Okay. But anyways, like he's like the, his logic was sound, so I was like, I guess I have to do it. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Are you saying this guy argued you into being gay? Yeah. <laughs> and did he pay you for the ride? Yeah. Oh man, that's got to be a violation of Lyft. Yeah, yeah. probably. 
It's a good thing I don't do that anymore. You're a hooker. I know. Hey! hey. What kind of dudes are you into? Have you, do you have a specific type? Because you're what you would be described as a bear. Is that correct? I guess. That's what everyone keeps telling me. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm like, technically I'm pansexual, but I don't like talking to people. Is it like frying people. pan? <laughs> yeah. More of a skillet. Uh, yeah. Okay, so what do you mean by pansexual? Explain that to I mean, us Republicans I, I guess, in the room. <laughs> I, really, I really hate explaining this, but it's basically, it's not the package, it's what's inside. You like okay. holes. Yes. <laughs> yes. You I do. Like holes. Yes. But not the mouths of innocent humans. No, no. Because you're new at this. I am new at this. Very, very, so who God, have the- you hooked up with? I don't know, a couple dudes. I'm not, like, getting names and shit. I'm not to well, the point. I don't want their names. Okay. Yeah. The amount of gay eye rolls at you have probably been so many where they're like, oh, yeah. fine, you're new. <laughs> I love it, JP. I find you to be extremely interesting. How long of a set do you think you've acquired in your four years of being a stand-up comedian? Uh, longest set I've done is 45 minutes. 45 oh, wow. minutes. Where are you originally from? I'm from uh, L.A., L.A. Yeah. That's but, uh, where your family's from? Yeah. Wow, um, I would I, not have guessed that. <laughs> just, but no, I've been, I've been here for... <laughs> I've been here for about 18 years, so I've been here long. Wow. Incredible. You're from L.A. Yeah. Interesting. You know what, JP? I find your story to be so incredibly compelling. What part of L.A. are you originally from? Um, I... Glendale. I've lived all over Glendale, Long Beach, Burbank. Yeah. You've yeah. lived you... all over Los Angeles. Yeah. And meanwhile, on May 10th, we will be at the Kia Forum, the Forum. Have you heard of this arena, the yes. world famous arena? How would you like to do a minute at the Forum in LA? Yes, you would. Yes, thank you. Well, there you go. You got it. J.P. Hinsdale will be performing. You have family there? No, they're all dead. Uh, they're all dead? Yeah. What about your pecking order? Is mom still alive? Yeah, but she's here. She's would, in Austin? She No, she's just around. That would have been great if he was like, I'm new. <laughs> I can't accept it. I can't. Yeah. Well, I was going ha- to have you invite her out to the show, but I guess only grandma's going to be watching your performance yeah. at the forum. Red Band? I'd mean, also love to have you on the secret show Thursday if you can. Hell yeah. Thank there you. you go. Thank you. Look at that, dude. He thank started you. here, and it will end here. J.P. Hinsdale at Hinsdale 5000 on social media. What you probably night. never what got one night. of these. Bones, I wasn't with us back then. There he goes. He made it happen. He's just became an arena act, ladies and gentlemen. J.P. Hinsdale, everyone. And like that, magic happens. He goes from signing up every single week to going back to where he started his life in Los Angeles, performing in an arena, only under the condition that he lets me suck his dick, (laughs) of course. So keep an eye on that. Could be taken away at any point. He likes to play hard to get. Yeah, right. And soft to get at the same time. It's very bizarre. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, as you see, dreams can come true on this show, and none bigger than the one that you're about to see, an absolute force of nature. One of our regulars writes and performs a new minute every single week. I present to you a freak. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the one and only Cam Patterson. Yeah, yo. That last nigga gay as hell, dog. Gay as shit. Super duper gay, very gay. Uh, unlike that guy, I'm a, I like bitches. I love women. They cool as hell. I had a threesome for the first time a couple weeks ago, and I made two women come to the same conclusion that I'm pretty bad at sex. Uh... <laughs> I'm mad because I told them that joke and they laughed harder than y'all did. I hate them hoes. I hate them with my whole heart. That shit really pissed me the fuck off. It was weird because like at one point, one of the girls got mad at the other girl because I was fucking the other one too much because her pussy was better. I'm a genius. You know what I'm saying? And so she got mad and went to a different room. So I had to fuck them in different rooms. So just imagine me butt-ass naked, 14-inch dick. Don't think about it too hard. 14-inch dick. <laughs> Soup flaccid, I'm soft, not even hard yet. You're just dragging the floor, and I'm running butt ass naked, but my socks and slides still on because if you fuck without your socks and slides on, you gay. That's gay as hell, dog. You fuck butt ass naked, that's gay as shit, right? So I'm running back and forth like a Scooby Doo chasing, right? Just fucking just hitting that shit, right? And um, I, I, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a good time. And I called my home, but I was like, hey, man, I had a threesome last night. That shit was dope. And I explained I was going back and forth, back and forth. He was like, you didn't have a threesome. They ran a train on you. <laughs> That's it. I can't pass it. Fuck yeah, Cam Patterson. I love it. 
That's a new minute. Yes. Originally heard about it in an interview. Yeah. And there it is. The yeah. actual bit. Unbelievable. It's Take it from interview up. to fucking... It all turns into material. Yeah, them niggas already gonna hate me for that one, but oh yeah, yeah, I'm a. It's how I don't fuck their mom or something. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Absolutely. Hey, see, Get their moms pregnant. Yeah, that's a good idea. I should do yeah. that. The fun thing about fucking a hater's mother is that you can come inside of her all you want. Yeah. Let her deal with the repercussions. I can be your stepfather, some shit like that. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. Hell God yeah. damn, what a cool threat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna fuck the shit out of your mom. <laughs> I'm gonna. Li- I'd be like, I'll listen. I'll listen to her <laughs> stories. I love it. Cam, you're absolutely killing. What else is going on in the world? You really did that, huh? Yeah, they I were had in two different rooms? Yeah, they, they was upset with each other. One of them was just mad because fucking the other one way too much. And then you went in there, and you, what'd you say to her? You're like, hey, I want to so Stop fuck. being mad, bitch. And yeah. Then, okay, that's fucking. a direct approach. Yeah. <laughs> stop being upset, dumbass bitch. Oh, <laughs> hell yeah. You threw a dumb in there. Yeah. Absolutely. See, Super insulting. I'm writing it down. All right, keep going. <laughs> yeah, that's All right. good. Settle down, you dumbass bitch. Yeah. Because some women like to be talked to aggressively. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She like to be, oh. you know what I'm saying? But really? how she do feels you... like a fucked up hitch. <laughs> <laughs> how do you know who to talk to aggressively and who to not talk to? You got to talk to the aggressive ones aggressively. You know what I'm saying? She really like overly aggressive. You got to be aggressive back. Like, I don't hit women, but I shake the shit out of bitch. You know what I'm saying? I shake the... How did you know that the one girl's vagina was better than the other girl's vagina if you fucked the one girl first? Because I tried both of them. You tried both of them. Yeah, oh, the old Pepsi challenge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I tried both of them. I was like, oh, this is way better. What do you mean? It was like the Tighter? other one. Nah, just like more like, hmm, like more wit. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, mm-hmm. a little like, je ne sais quoi. <laughs> you ever had like, you ever had like a uh, stuffy nose and one of your yes. noses is just like, one side of your nose is just <laughs> yes. like yeah. super wet and the other side is just dry shit? Yeah. That was the other bitch. Oh, she was just. Oh, but, got Cam, it. but Cam, have you ever laid on your side and let the snot fall into the other one and then it opens back up? <laughs> How cool is that? Yeah. What I'm saying is, should have switched rooms. Maybe the pussy would have been better in the other room. <laughs> it's too bad there's no nose spray for pussy. Open really. that shit up, you know. They needed that shit. I will tell you my favorite part about the threesome is I went outside. I went outside. I was on the phone with my homeboy about some shit, and then I came back in, and one of the girls was eating the other girl pussy. And I was oh. like, man, life is great, man. Yeah. And so, so I decided I, I had like two entries I could choose to go through at this point in life. You feel what I'm saying? I could either like just shove my dick in her mouth or like fuck the other one. And I shoved my dick in her mouth and I think that was a pretty good decision. Yeah. Choose your own adventure. Yeah. yeah. What yeah, a yeah. post-game conference. <laughs> yeah, all right. Now, I could have gone puss, went mouth. Don't regret it. Don't regret it. Good. <laughs> Great idea. I liked it a lot. Let's also take a, a take note that during all of this talk about fucking women and women eating each other out, not once have we heard bow, now, 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 <laughs> from the homophobic <laughs> bass player D Madness, <laughs> who played it 18 times during all the gay talk earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, things gay things are criminal. <laughs> Unbelievable. And you fuck with the slides on. Oh, I got to. Hell yeah, you got to. Yeah, because you go foot. socks, they're on the carpet. Yeah, you got to have, you know what I'm saying, good traction. You yes, yeah. yes. You, you definitely yeah. have yeah. an I'm running to the liquor store outfit on. <laughs> <laughs> traction. Yeah. Because huh? like, you don't like, you don't like, you feel what I'm saying, like, not on really carpet, but if you like on like hardwood floors hardwood. and shit, yeah, you slip be socks, slipping, you'll, be slipping and shit. You'll but you, slide so back. you stay at the edge of the bed and you bring them kind of towards you. Yeah, I like to hold, touch their toes. Slides, it would be hard to keep them on in the missionary position. Oh, I trust do believe. me, I keep them bitches on, dog. You keep them on. You gotta grip the hole with your toes a little bit. Oh right? my god, that is incredible. These don't come off at all, bro. For those of you just listening to the podcast, he got up on his toes like Michael Jackson. Um, yeah. You gotta grip the hole. Look, look at me. Look, grip them bitches. Gripping. Wow. Right here, gotta grip that the hole. That is incredible. This guy just agrees with whatever you say. No matter what. <laughs> yes, Mr. Black Man. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, I'll buy candy for your uniforms. <laughs> <laughs> incredible. <laughs> <laughs> my AAU team, man. Come on, fuck with me, dog. You feel what I'm saying? We're trying to go to Florida and play in the AAU tournament, man. <laughs> We're trying to get there, bro. I did that before. Oh, yeah. I was like 19, not playing basketball in like a year. Did that before. I can see it. I Hell think I yeah. bought those Skittles. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, Cam. I mean, you did it again. An absolute unbelievable performance yet again. Just joke, 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 joke. Nobody does it quite like him. Make some noise for Cam Patterson, everybody. 
come on, you can do better than that. Make some noise for Cam, everyone. God damn it. Out there daydreaming. Hello, this podcast is sponsored by Bespoke Post. Make this year your most awesome yet with a box of awesome from Bespoke Post. Every month, the box of awesome is filled with carefully chosen gear from the best small brands around the world. This month, I got a big knife from the Slash Box. It's made by Bare Bones, based in Salt Lake City. Whether you want to drink and eat more awesome, dress and travel more awesome, or explore more awesome, Box of Awesome has you covered this year. Year Red Ban. To get started, take the quiz at boxofawesome.com. Your answers will help them pick the right box of awesome for you. It's free to join and they release new items every month across a ton of different categories. Tony, I love getting my box of awesome in the mail each month. It's like Christmas. I wait by the door the, like a dog. Yeah, like a dog what? <laughs> waiting waiting for my owner to come back. There you go. When you become a member, you'll have access to stellar discounts across a plethora of products. We're talking 30% off or more sometimes. Plus, with each box of awesome, you're supporting small businesses. 90% of everything that comes in your box of awesome is from a small up-and-coming brand. It's free to sign up. And you can skip a month or cancel anytime. Get a free mystery gift with your first monthly shipment when you sign up at boxofawesome.com and enter the code KILLTONY at checkout. That's boxofawesome.com, code KILLTONY, for a free mystery gift with your first monthly shipment. Boxofawesome.com, code KILLTONY. Your next bucket pull is from the inside. He is one of you. Make some noise for Tanner Amiglio. Tanner Amiglio from the inside. I do. Well, nope. Is that him? Tanner, you here? Here he comes. All right. From the back. How many of you like it when people do good on this show? How many of you like it when people do bad on this show? Oh, there you go. A bunch of ruthless people in this room tonight. Absolute monsters. Make some noise for Tanner Amiglio, everybody. From the inside, one of your very own. One more time for Tanner Amiglio. Uh, I get confused watching the news a lot. Like, I'll see, like, a protest going on, and you'll see, like, a bunch of fat people, and, like, they're activists. Like, what the fuck are you active about? <laughs> Fatty. <laughs> Fat fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, shh. Hold on. <laughs> no, dude, like, <laughs> I like listening to my parents have sex. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care what you think, dude. They're my parents, bro. Fuck you. <laughs> it's fun to think about, you know, like, my dad's shorter than my mom. My dad's Asian. It's cool. <laughs> he just teeter totters on her. <laughs> I know he's doing a good job, too. Like, I hear my mom go, oh, yeah. Yeah, my dad's all, don't like that, oh, fuck yeah, get this foot <laughs> I'm Asian, don't get mad at me, bro. <laughs> uh, all right, cool. <laughs> wow, a great minute, Tanner Amiglio. Am I saying that correctly, Tanner? Yeah, you are, yeah, yeah. yeah. Welcome to the show. This is your first time, right? Yes. Dan Soder. What up, Dan? Uh, what's up, dude? How are you? <laughs> I'm doing great, dude. You, dude. you really look like a kid that was kidnapped and then returned. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I just kept asking, like, oh, dude, uh, yeah. let me play the iPad. And then yeah. He was like, get the fuck out. <laughs> Incredible. How old are you? 21. 21 yeah. years old. Wow. Yeah. Man. <laughs> I feel like Kevin Spacey because this twink is cute. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, it's going down. It is cute going down. Cute and stinky. Down. I'm a little cute, stinky boy. Yeah. Wow. All right. There you go. How those. many animals have you killed with rocks? <laughs> Don't, wait, no, so many. Yeah. Actually, though, no, go like ahead, a lot. Answer it. Um, okay, I've killed rabbits, squirrels. I killed, um, not with a rock, but with my car, like three hogs. I've what was killed, the one with your car? I felt Like it. three hogs. Like three, uh, three at once. Oh, Instead okay. of two birds, one stone, my car, three hogs. Oh, wow. Hot. Yeah. Honestly, you can't beat that logic. <laughs> right. That's good. Mm. Yeah, you look like a kid. Who... <laughs> God damn, dude. I have never seen a person so ready for a firework accident. <laughs> it is unbelievable. Yeah. This is incredible. You're a little bundle of energy, Tanner. How long have you been doing stand-up? Um, this is going to be 10 months. No, no, 11 months in March. Okay. Oh, it's that now's March. Yes, 11 indeed. months, guys. <laughs> 
Wait, you mean a year in March? No, 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 a year in April because okay. I turned 21 in March, so I started in April. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, everything is happening right now. At this I know moment. it's crazy. Birthdays. Well, I don't know why he's got so much cartoon turned into a human energy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Yeah, that's the sound. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So Tanner, how do you make a living? I work for Tommy Buns and Mama Jeans. Wow. Yeah. And y- unbelievable. Yeah, I was actually uh, switching on the podcast when you were on Not Today, pal. Oh, okay. Yeah, and Hell you, yeah. And you asked... Um, With the great Jamie Lynn Sigler? Yeah, the great Sigler? Jamie Lynn and, and uh, Robbo. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, you asked... Um, so when... <laughs> <laughs> to the fucking I didn't even know you guys don't even know what he asked just hold on <laughs> because no cause when I'm mad my <laughs> nose shakes <laughs> Tony really likes the Sopranos and, which is dope uh, and uh, he was wondering about this Pink Floyd song that kept popping up when someone was killed it was uh, Van Morrison but oh, yes yeah. Van yeah. Morrison sings the chorus on the comfortably numb uh, version mm-hmm. of Christopher Maltesanti's death yes yeah I learned that from when you were on the You know, they asked the great David Chase, the creator, the almighty (laughs) creator of the Sopranos universe, and he answered that, and he didn't even know. Your eyes are so much bluer than I thought. He didn't even know. (laughs) You're talking about my eyes right now? I'm talking about David Chase (laughs) answering my question that I asked on a Sopranos podcast (laughs) right now? Sorry. Dude, he's been living with Peter Pan and the Lost Boys. (laughs) (laughs) Just let him have it. It's like, I don't know, Peter. Captain Hook's coming around. <laughs> Let him. Oh. My eyes are blue. Yeah, Indeed. man. Indeed. Uh, but yeah, he didn't even know. He didn't even make the connection. The blue fact, is your little vest. <laughs> oh, jeez. What? what is going on here? What is going on here? Uh. Wow. Yeah, fuck you. Will you guys stop flirting? <laughs> Oh my god, what a cute, what a me cute. Yeah, right? You Tony, get the- you're back in with the Asians. Yeah, yeah. You're, hey. you're popular. We love you. I'm going to get my revenge. I'm a, I'm a dirty Asian, though. You know, we're not, what kind of Asian are you? I'm Filipino. We're not clean. Uh, <laughs> we're like tree Asians. We're arboreal. <laughs> <laughs> the that super- means they live in the trees for you retards. Ar- arboreal is in the trees. God, what This is the worst planet Earth ever. The retards are in the trees. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. You look like the kid from uh, Jungle Book. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say. Mowgli? Mowgli, Mowgli, the little Indian. Is that what you have to calm you down? It's like, it's the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. There it is, the actual Your forehead, Dan, your forehead's as white as my ass, dude. Wow, Tanner. I'm just kidding. Sweet zing. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Fucking boxcar child. (laughs) Zing is his dad's name. (laughs) Oh, my God. Tanner, you're a freak of nature. Have you been funny your whole life? You're 21 years old. Were you a little rabble rouser in school? Such a rabble rouser. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Son of a bitch. I swear to God. <laughs> this kid just have you spank it, Tony. Disrespect it. <laughs> wow. You guys are gonna fuck. <laughs> we are. I'm taking him to the pitch and putt this week and get him all fucking liquored up on sugar or something like that. Oh, uh, you're originally from Austin, Tanner? No. Where are no. you from? I'm from San Clemente, California. Oh, it's a shame. So close to the forum. If you weren't an asshole. <laughs> sorry. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh, I have a question. Oh, how did I fuck this up for myself? You fucking pussy. Oh, your eyes are bluer than I thought. I love it. Tanner, what do you do for fun? What else are you into other than comedy? Um, I love fishing. I grew up working on fishing boats. That's like my favorite thing to do. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I figured... 
You're more of a bait for uh, for uh, Red Chris Band. Hansen <laughs> show or whatever that was called. Oh yeah, party. I yeah, I'd be you good invite bait. people in. They tell them that there's cookies and lemonade and shit. If they bring the pizza, fuck yeah. Right. Oh, okay, Chris All Hansen. Right. Chris party. Hansen's like you're not supposed to actually fuck them. <laughs> That's the vibe that I was I, I, getting. I'm it's just like open wait, the door. I'm already naked. I'm like, all right, we're doing yeah. this. Yeah. <laughs> can, can I ask you a can question? I... Did you fuck that kid? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, I offered to suck his dick, and he told me he was new at this. Uh, Tanner, I'd love to have you on the Secret Show Thursday if you can. Yeah, thank you. And here's a big joke book. There you go, buddy. The Kill Tony debut of Tanner Amiglio. And ladies and gentlemen, on this, what appears to be a fucking home run derby episode. Oh, shit. I mean, ladies and gentlemen... Kill Tony Hall of Famer David Lucas has stepped out. For those of you just listening to the show, what a pleasant surprise. Absolutely incredible. I didn't want shit. I just wanted to tell Tony he looked like a gay puffer fish. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I bet if I tickle your booty, you'll blow up right now, nigga. (laughs) That's how it works. Look at Dan Soda. That nigga look like he got on a hockey helmet. Big head ass bitch. You and your fucking wobbly fish eyes need to shut the fuck up. You deflated Patrice O'Neal. You look like an intelligent Tom Green, nigga. I'll take that. I'll take that. Damn, I feel like I'm between a black guy and a cop. Take it easy. Uh, That nigga look like he coached at a private school. Get your motherfucking... God willing. Basketball. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you fucking candy apple. <laughs> David Luke. Look at your Adam's apple, nigga. God damn, boy. Oh, yeah. You've never eaten an apple. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. You have hey, a harder time breathing than George Floyd. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't say that. I just got canceled for that oh, joke. Sorry, sorry. That's why I'm. All right. But if they would have kneeled on your neck, they would have had to curve their knee, nigga. That, that's true. That, look at that Adam's album. It's a doozy. That's a mesothelioma, whatever that shit called. <laughs> and that's a diabetic. <laughs> <laughs> that's my nigga, bro. That's why we got Oh, my God. Kill Tony, Hall of Famer, one of only three, one of only two living. David Lucas has yeah, arrived. Yeah, I'm out here, bro. I just wanted seat. to come out here, man, and let y'all know uh, my special dropped March 6th. You know what I'm saying? Filmed it. Yeah. And they tried to cancel me over that George Floyd joke, but it don't work. That nigga was a crackhead. Fuck that shit. I really, in real life, would have shot that nigga. It wasn't, it wasn't a joke. He was 6'6". Fuck that. Yeah. Incredible. That was quite the situation. You were put under... You oh, I thought you were talking about George Floyd. It's <laughs> <laughs> a like, yeah, that's fucking yeah. cool. That's one way to put it. Yeah. Yeah. Situation. He's the guy from Jersey Shore. Well, hey, Tony. Yeah. What kind of shirt is that under that vest? What, what, what are you asking me exactly? I ain't never seen a loose Allen Iverson sleeve, nigga. That shit weird. What do you... You look like you got on a church sock, nigga. Your ass. Sucks. What the fuck? That's is a Stacy Adams here? shirt, nigga. Your ass. The Steve Harvey line of scuba diving gear. <laughs> you gonna take that from Stacy Abrams? <laughs> oh my god. Man, get god. your old motherfucking Yorkie looking ass up out of here, boy. <laughs> look like a rich person dog, nigga, out here. <laughs> that nigga. I like Fuck it. Fuck out of like here it. with that bullshit. I like it. <laughs> you do look like a rich person stuff. <laughs> I should be in a lady's purse. That motherfucker look like he swallowed a ping pong ball, nigga. Your ass. <laughs> Boy, when you take a goat, that shit take 30 years, nigga. Oh, yeah. Take a, take a sip of that Coke. I'll be finished next month. Oh, my God. It don't stop, baby. We out he here. He is huge. Uh, and you're gay, bitch. No, you are literally bigger than ever. It is nigga, incredible. I see you on the P. Diddy affidavit, nigga. Your ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, you, was at a, you was at a swimming pool with Meat Mill. 
<laughs> well, no one knows more about being puffy than you do. So. Oh. There you joke. go. You be puffing in the morning from that AIDS medication, nigga, your ass. You are notoriously B.I.G. <laughs> and you are notorious F.A.G. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. He got me again. It goes on and on. Forever. <laughs> can't understand how we last so long. Absolutely incredible. You know we do this shit, man. What you else, know what David? You know, I'm out here, bro. I'm out here in these cities, man. Bakersfield, North Carolina, fucking Stress Factory. I got the Wilbur at the end of the year. We out here doing it. Kill Tony is the real movement, nigga. Y'all better believe that. Goddamn motherfucking right. We're doing Madison Square Garden. Do you niggas understand that shit? Yep. Yep. Everybody associated with Kill Tony is a motherfucking killer, and don't forget that shit. That's all I gotta say. I David love Lucas, everybody. You gotta love it. What a special pop in. No stand up. No we stand love you, David. No, all right. Absolute all right. legend of the show. We're going to be getting trashed tonight, no doubt about it. And I was saying, before he even came out, I was saying on a what appears to be an all-home run derby episode of Kill Tony, I have pulled one of the most amazing names I could have possibly have pulled out of the bucket. Genuinely, somehow, one of the, out of the hundreds of sign-ups, I have pulled Kill Tony legend. Make some noise for David Jolly, everybody. Oh, yeah. Gang, violence has arrived. How y'all doing? How y'all doing tonight, white people in Puerto Rico? Y'all heard the news that the aliens was real? Y'all heard that? It's fucking crazy. The real question is, when are we gonna be able to fuck these aliens? I see Avatar, I've been waiting on this shit a long time. I ain't never had no turquoise pussy before. I'm gonna be the first nigga in a polyamorous relationship with two Martian hoes. I'm gonna be like, hey, ooka, 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 ooka. You and eh, 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 y'all come down here and suck my dick. Cause I already know if they're keeping them aliens at Area 51, it's a nigga on that midnight shift. He just wait for Roger to go eat his cheese. <laughs> All right, thank y'all, man. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Only 42 seconds. Oh, my bad. All right, all right. Uh, fuck y'all, y'all ugly, bitch. Right. Okay. <laughs> all right, 48 yeah, yeah. seconds from David yeah, yeah. Jolly. What up, Tony? All right? How's it going, my friend? Welcome. Shit, you know, I hear getting it. You having a good time, ain't we? Goddamn right. You working tonight? Yeah, I'm working. Absolutely. I, I love it. You the- thought I just walk around with... <laughs> Well, don't answer that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you don't want to know. Uh, David, incredible that I pulled you out of the... But do you always sign up when you're working? Yeah, every time. I love it. Well, and I, I was sitting up there, and then I seen, I seen Brian look at Colt, and I was like, I think this might be my motherfucking name. You're goddamn right. Yeah, yeah. Look at you. What up, Mark? Hey, it's good you're to right? see you. I mean, yeah, you yeah. were great in Blood Diamond. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You was good in Just Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Fly out of my nose. <laughs> hey, yeah. Genuine snot <laughs> just flew out of my nose on that one while I was trying to light a cigarette. That was, <laughs> that was incredible. Good. You swift. A very rare treat on this show is <laughs> liquids flying out of my body, surprisingly. So, David, welcome back. Uh, since the last time that you've been on this show, uh, I had you do some uh, spots on my Tony Hinchcliffe and Current Friends. You killed. And then I invited you on the road. And I mean, I don't know why I was surprised, but your level of intensity in giant theaters was so incredible that I had you back and yeah, back yeah. again. So yeah, you've been kind of part of this rolling crew. Yeah, yeah. Um, tell these people what it's like doing sold out theaters around the world with me. That shit retarded. Can you describe it a little bit better? I mean, because, like, you got it takes so much time, like, with the jokes, because you tell the joke, then it's 2,000 people, you know, with the timing. It's great, though, man. It's fun. We having fun on the road, cracking jokes. 
Always giving Hans Kim shit every day. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. That's the best part to me. Yeah. <laughs> it really is. And we also roast you a lot. It's oh, really. I don't, I don't give a damn. You know. Oh, we know. Hans doesn't really give a damn either. Yeah. Everybody's happy to be on the ride. That shit. Uh, I took you to. We went to Cleveland and Pittsburgh this Hell past yeah. weekend, and uh, we stopped time. off in Youngstown, Ohio, which That's is your the midway house. point. Yeah. And you went to my mom's house. Yeah, yeah. We hung out good over there. Your a little mom- fun fact, though. I yeah. told my mom. That uh, who was who else was with us? It was Yoni, Christy, Hans, Cam, Daddy, and Cam, and Cam's dad. But I had uh, I told um, David to wait in the car five minutes, and after she let everybody in, I didn't tell her that David was coming, and uh, <laughs> and then I had him just bang on the door really, really hard to freak her out. But uh, she was a good spirit. After she put the gun down. <laughs> <laughs> what did she do? Yeah, it was, it was unbelievably hilarious. And you got to have Youngstown Pizza, Belleria yeah, yeah. Uptown Pizza. That and ice cream was Fido. That's Handel's ice cream. It tastes, it tastes oh, yeah. famous. You've had it. Very yeah. good. Very I thought good. It, I thought it was going to taste like purple drink, but it tasted like grape. So that was... Mm-hmm. Well, that's good ice cream. We did. We got Close great enough. flavor. You ever had purple drink? Oh, yeah. It's good, right? Very good. I know you'd had it, Dan. You're like, you from the hood, man. <laughs> this is, I love purple drink. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's delicious. I'm telling you, it is. <laughs> no, I know. It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is... <laughs> what the fuck what is the that? What the hell is that? <laughs> Find me in a hot tub. <laughs> oh. oh, were you friends with them dorks? Uh... David Lucas and David Jolly back to back. I, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a shame because I was trying to get Cat Williams on this episode uh, last week, but he obviously had other things to do. I wonder what Cat Williams would have said about your performance here tonight. It makes me wonder. Mm. Can't even do a full minute. <laughs> <laughs> the man. <laughs> they got him working the door. Baby can't even do a damn full minute. That's it's good. a shame. That's good. Get away from me, white bitch. <laughs> I don't be fucking. Uh, ain't funny. having no s- snow bunnies up in my shit pimping. <laughs> That's good. That's a good one. Oh my God. Dan Soder's new special on the road is on That's YouTube good, now. Please give him the full fucking oh, Kill Tony you. bump. Let it's a killer these special. motherfuckers know. Oh my no, god! No, it's good. I see you getting better every day. I see you at the club. You're always yeah. good. Your material's gold. Oh yeah. wait, that's your. I team. followed you last night. <laughs> Sorry, I followed you last night. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, home. Yeah, no, nah. <laughs> no, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no. I mean, all right. Never mind. <laughs> I'm on the open mic on the uh, cruise show. Oh yeah, that was yeah. That they was forgot a hot you crowd. was on the stage when I left. Oh <laughs> wow. I'm very... just fucking with you, Mark. Don't, I know, don't I bear know. me one day. Mark oh, feels like he's talking to the door guy of his building right now. I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> he goes, yeah, it's crazy. It's raining. All right. Yeah. Uh, it's cold out. I, uh, I got to go. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> how's your kids? <laughs> <laughs> Be all right. Be good. All right. Oh, you're he, taking care of them. That's yeah. nice. He does he, not right. know he where in, they are. He in college, actually. He pretty good. Yeah, you right. got a kid in college? Yeah. What college is he going to? Bethune-Cookman University in Daytona. What's it called? Bethune-Cookman University. Bethune-Cookman. <laughs> Bethune-Cook? Bethune-Cookman, motherfucker. You hear me, Tony? Oh, Goddamn. Oh, my God. What's that mean? Google it, motherfucker. Bethune-Cookman. No <laughs> what the fuck is that? What is that? What is that? What, is, what song is that? Boom. <laughs> what song is that? Boom. You know what song that is. I don't. I ain't here. Play it again, Brian. You know what fucking song that is. <laughs> it's, it's your morning good, alarm clock. Good, <laughs> and by morning, I mean 1 p.m., I'm sure. That's good. Huh? We know you ain't contributing to the Bethune Cook Fund. Why not? You're giving him college money? Fuck no. I'm giving him. <laughs> That's what I just said. I'm giving, I'm giving him money, not Bethune. Fuck Bethune. Right. Yeah. I went to fam. Fuck Bethune. Google that shit, white people. <laughs> Bethune Cookman University and Florida A and M are two historically black colleges that uh he know, don't you know? Huh? Oh, that's uh, Black Theon from earlier. Uh, yeah. the guy that he know packed. he know what I'm talking about, man. It's two prestigious universities. So weird hearing black guys talk college. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> crazy. 
quite the community you guys yeah. have built for yourselves. I know. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm doing all right. I'm pretty good. You know what You're I mean? Doing good. <laughs> right. <laughs> You're doing just yes, fine. Man. Yep. Between G-O-D and G-E-D, you're doing just fine. Man, oh man, fuck you, Tony. You're an asshole. <laughs> you're a real asshole. We love you. <laughs> Incredible to have David Lucas and David Jolly back to back since he had to apologize for doing jokes about you. Uh, <laughs> Not a lot of people know this, but this is the actual George Floyd. He was an actor the entire time. He's alive and well. He's totally fine. I was in, I was in the Bahamas. That's what I was doing. Yep. <laughs> Smoking weed with Tupac and shit. You know what I mean? Doing yeah. cocaine with Elvis. You know, the usual yep. shit, you know? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Gang violence you know, indeed. You know the vibes. Yeah, yeah. All right, Theon. That's enough talking while the show's going on. It's Jesus. not a movie theater. Hey, he, hey, hey relax. He'll kick... He going to kick y'all out. I'm telling y'all, you're going to be out of here. Yeah, what is this? Medea goes to a comedy show? <laughs> Relax, bro. This is incredible. Uh, David Jolly, you're a sensation. What yeah, can I yeah. say? Everybody loves you. You're a cold-blooded killer. I what love else, David? Too, man. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate it. David Jolly. All right. We keep moving along. Nah, we started a little late. We're going to go a little bit longer. Make some noise for your next bucket pull. Alex Hobson, everybody. Alex Hobson is next on Kill Tony. Such fun interviews. Whoa! Make some noise for Alex Hobson, everyone. Hey, everybody. I hope they're all in a good mood tonight. I have... Uh, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. I have... Uh, I've been in Texas for two whole weeks, and I'm absolutely loving it. I'm, uh, I'm on a road trip. Uh, from Canada, and a lot of things are similar. Uh, for example, the, uh, the proud patriotic animal of Canada is the beaver. So, so that's one thing that, uh, that we have in common with Texas, which is nice, because the, uh, the, the proud animal symbol of Texas is also a beaver. That beaver's name is Bucky. He is, uh, he is incredibly popular. Adults love him. Kids love him. Very popular guy. All right, folks. Hope you keep having a great night. That's my time. Thanks. Wait a second, Alex. First of all, you're the happiest, angry-looking guy I've ever seen in my life. I'm not sure what to make of this. It's so fun to see Santa on his off hours, though. <laughs> there he is. Awesome, thank you. Damn, um, dude, that, that set was ZZ Stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're like a gay wizard. <laughs> Yeah, Alex, what is going on here exactly? What are you? That's your first time doing stand-up, correct? It is my 11th time tonight. Whoa! 11th time tonight? What does that mean to you exactly? What, is, what does tonight mean? Or what, what is, does 11th time mean? It means I've done, I've done open mics up in Canada, but only a few. Oh, your 11th oh, time tonight. I thought you meant you tonight. did 11 sets tonight. Yeah, yeah that's what I, I like, thought he meant too. Really? He can travel the whole world in one night. Yeah. <laughs> is very Santa-like, except he slays sometimes. <laughs> this was more, oh, dear. <laughs> uh, so, Alex, uh, you've done stand-up 11 times total. What do you do for a living? What type of prison guard are you, exactly? I mark essays. You mark essays? Yeah. They're like, fuck you, I mark you, bro. <laughs> Yeah, that is an interesting... Uh, what do you mean you mark essays? Like, is... I work for a university, but everything's online, so that's why I'm able to uh, be here, visiting here. So okay. you're a paper grader. Yes, I am a paper grader. Online. Yes. So you'll never be in a school shooting, unfortunately. Unfortunately. <laughs> how, long have, how long have you been an online marker? Uh, for quite a while, for like 12 years now. Wow. Basically was uh, doing my education in stages. Did, you know, did a BA, did a, an MA, and then got partway through a PhD. Are you William Montgomery's dad? <laughs> uh, okay. Dude, you didn't answer. That was weird. <laughs> are you married? What have you done with your life? How old are you? I am 52. Okay. And what have you done up until this point? What, uh, made, what made you start stand-up so late? Was uh, in a marriage where... Uh, Freedom wasn't uh, really available. Tell us more about this marriage. How long did it last? And by the way, who was the restrictive one, him or her? <laughs> yeah, exactly. He looks like he's got someone chained to a radiator. Yeah. 
Absolutely. No, Your, your Honor, I'm the victim of the domestic <laughs> violence. Uh, I swear. You've okay. got evil youth pastor energy. Yeah. So what happened sure. with the marriage? Tell us about the marriage. It was one of those things that uh, started out, and I thought that it was uh, someone that was uh, amazing and passionate and driven. And so I said to myself, you know, if the first night is like this, you know, then you know what else will be good? You know what else will be intense? The divorce. And it was. Uh, How long was the marriage? 12 years. And what was so intense about the divorce? Just, yeah, just uh, Tell us was, the truth. was Tell married me. to a very passionate, very driven, very intense person. When you person. say that she's passionate, give us some type of example of how she's passionate. What do you mean? In the bedroom? Yes. Okay. What ethnicity was she? Uh, Chinese from China. Whoa! There you go. Truth comes out. The Asians holding strong on this one. Damn, you got tiger mom, huh? Yes. Yeah, dude. Yes. Was she from China? Yes. Oh, did you did she come in a box? <laughs> <laughs> no, she was actually from a very wealthy Chinese family. I met her while she was traveling. Oh, Whoa. Kim Jong. Oh. <laughs> Oh, wait, that's Korea. That's Korea. Sorry. Wow. So the marriage ended up being just general so-so. That's Chinese. That's good. That's That's a Chinese. I like it. Okay. She just Um, egg rolled over. Yeah. Uh, She was like Kung Pao. Yeah. There was a lot of that. She she was abusive? Absolutely, yeah. Tell us about it. Come on. Uh, she hit you with nunchucks? <laughs> yeah. A little choppy chop. Put you in a finger trap? Or... <laughs> <laughs> what did she do to you? A lot of, uh, mostly a lot of thrown dishes, lack oh. of control. Oh. China? Uh, yeah. <laughs> She's staring to China. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, that's uh, our good China. Uh, I'm the good China. I'm the good China. My goodness. With being betrayed by a Chinese person, it's like, dang, you know what I mean? <sighs> oh, that's was great. she really, she was smaller than you though, right? Like I'm very frat, no? No, not really, okay. no. Like I, I, when I went to China and uh, went to Beijing and met her dad and her dad was a little bit taller than I am and I'm not... Not short, so... Wow, uh, that's crazy. Yeah. He was taller than you. Yes. Wow. So lot, you went there, you met her there, and you took her to go? Chinese takeout? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and one of those very strange things, we met in uh, St. John's, Newfoundland. So I'm from British Columbia. We met way on the other side of Canada. Wow, so that's... <laughs> kind of like being from Seattle and then meeting someone in New York. And Yeah. Mm, right. Wow. So wait, <laughs> this is your sleepless in Seattle? <laughs> <laughs> she just looked With sleepy. one eye open. So tell us more about this fucking spicy dish. What else would she do to you? What else? What was like the what were where, where did you draw the line exactly? Where did you build your great yes. wall? <laughs> what were the pepper steaks in the sand? Yeah. When did the wontons of fun end? <laughs> so stupid. What were the highs and low mains? <laughs> yeah. When did she become an unfortunate cookie? <laughs> Was she spy ballooning on you? Yeah. Uh, no more Mr. Rice guy. <laughs> when did you know you were a gong? Yeah. Did you jump on the old Panda Express and get out of there? You know what I mean? Did she start COVID? Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> If she could have, she would have. Got it. Wow. Got her. Look at that. My goodness. She was in the airborne division. All right. <laughs> so, uh, 12 years. What was the final? What was the last straw? Even though they don't really put straws in the to go bags if you order. Okay, go ahead. All right. <laughs> You're really good. trying to shoehorn these Chinese jokes. <laughs> I really thought you were going to say, what was the last straw hat? But I didn't know. Oh. That is the one. That's called punch up right there. No, there you go. no that, that is correct. Okay. Basically, watched it go from uh, passionate and spontaneous into uh, 
passionate, spontaneous, and violent, and uh, just tried to uh, tried to keep everything as comfortable as I could for the sake of the kids. And uh, how many kids? Two kids. Okay, lucky numbers two, seventeen. <laughs> All right. Okay. You're saying she went from sweet to sour. <laughs> I am. There you Absolutely. Go. Absolutely. No doubt about it. I like it. I like okay. it. Okay. Uh, so, uh, have you been with another woman since then? Yeah, I, uh, I actually went because I went from someone who was uh, very thin, where we didn't have a lot in common, where every conversation things were something fat different. Bitch now. Yeah. Wow. Hey. Someone, someone from very close, grew up on a ranch like I did. You know, grew up on a ranch and a for... thousand island by the looks of indeed, things. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> Count it. <laughs> My goodness gracious. So you found a woman, and are you going to settle down with her? Yeah. Things and are happier. You guys are... Calmer. And yeah. Happier. You guys Netflix and chill? Absolutely. You guys are into that. What do you watch? Love on the Spectrum? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's clever. We definitely do that. That's and now, clever. And now I finally watch a lot of stand-up, so... Okay. Right. Very cool. Absolutely. Um, well, uh, Alex, thank you so much. Fun times. Your 11th time ever on stage. Here's a little joke book for you. Yeah. Uh, you tried your best. I like your style. You were honest in the interview. That goes a long way. Alex Hobson, everybody. Okay. All right. We're getting through it. Let's make this the last bucket pull of the night. That seems to make sense. Make some noise for your final comedian of the night, Brandon Baddock, everybody. Brandon Baddock. Yeah. <laughs> I just turned 25, which sucks, because uh, I feel like I look like I killed a guy in the 70s. Um, It's been lonely, man. I, uh, I tried my hand at OnlyFans the other day. Uh, it's cool. It's this website where people post nudes, but to see the nudes, you have to pay a subscription fee. Um, I was on this goth girl's account. I look at her price, $25 a month. It's like, really, girls out here competing with HBO Max? Are you fucking <laughs> kidding me, man? Like, listen, I bet your pussy's good, but it's not The Sopranos. Let's be real. You get a writer's room and an anime adaptation, then we'll talk, but... I'll just stick with the centerfolds for now. Um, I was using the bathroom before this. I hate using urinals, man. Do you have any idea how uncomfortable it is that people can see my back as I masturbate? Stories. <laughs> I'm Brandon Baddock. Thank you, guys. Brandon Baddock. Hi, Brandon. Welcome to the hey. show. How's it going? Your first time on, right? Yeah, yeah, big fan. W welcome. Hell yeah. Well, how long have you been doing stand-up? Two years. Okay. Where are you from? Worcester. Worcester, Massachusetts. Yeah. Do you live here now or are you visiting? Uh, I've been living here for a week now. Oh, one week. Yeah, How's yeah. it been going for you? Tell us about your week in Austin, Texas. Fucking sucks. Uh, <laughs> Why does it I suck? Live, I live above the lodge. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. It's the bar down the street. Uh-huh. Because uh, I was looking for a... I'm currently unemployed and it sucks, man. Uh <laughs> Between the hours of 3 p.m. and 2 a.m., if you lay on my floor, you just vibrate. Right. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. got a place above a bar. Yeah, yeah. And then the water sucks. You shower and you're just dirtier. You know, it's... Oh, wow. The worst. Hell yeah. Incredible. So, uh, what do you do for work? I know you're unemployed right now, but what are you looking for? Um, so, I actually, in, in Massachusetts, I worked at a record store. Ah, for two years, as you can tell. That's uh, crazy. <laughs> yeah. Looking to maybe work at like Waterloo or something. Yeah. Yeah. You think you're going to get a job there? I think so. Um, <laughs> Just based off, you're going to be like, look based at me. Based off my smell, you know? <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. So uh, what types of things do people that work at record stores actually like know? Um, they, they know how to roll a joint. That's confirmed... <laughs> all the time mm -hmm. blunts joints the business side not so much they never <laughs> they never tend to know how to run a business yeah um, incredible uh, 25 years old vinyl has never even been a thing since you've been alive yeah. literally bluetooth forever yeah right okay uh i was born past the cd era yes so. Yeah. yeah, no doubt about it. This Damn. is one of them, Red Band. Half your age. Half your age. That's what it looks like. 
<laughs> it looks like the same age. It's incredible. <laughs> you look like you've been hiding in the Jew tunnels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, are you, are you Jewish? No. Ah, oh. what are, are you? Your face. I'm an Albanian. Oh. oh. God worshiping Jews is what they are, <laughs> folks. I do believe. You Catholic? Used to be. But then what happened? I uh, diddle. I found Satan. Whoa. No. Okay. No, I'm a atheist. Okay. <laughs> It's a little black hole sun for you. Yeah. Okay. So tell us something interesting about your life, Brandon. We get it. You're 25. You work in a record store, but you don't. <laughs> You're into Satan like yeah. they all are. Right. Um, an interesting fact. When I was a kid, I used to breed a betta fish, the Chinese fighting fish. Yes. Mm. Yeah. yeah my, our, our last comedian was married to one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He was so. a beta cuckfish. <laughs> <laughs> Killing it on the jet ski. So, uh, other than raising beta fish as a child, is there anything else that we might be surprised to know about you, Brandon Bauer? Um, I, uh, I did fencing for 10 years. Whoa. Ooh. Really? Uh, Putting up yeah, that border sword. wall? Yeah. Oh, 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 I'm see, white. I see. I Actual see. fencing. <laughs> Okay, I'm starting to figure this out. It's starting to make sense. Rich parents. Middle class. That's what Middle rich parents... People with rich parents say. He's trying say. to hide the fact that his father is Rob Zombie. Yeah. This is Josh Zombie, the son of... Yeah. Josh Zombie. His government name is yeah. Michael Zombie. <laughs> He's like Marilyn Hanson. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. What does your father do for a living? I uh, sold car insurance. Oh. Actually, he digs through the ditches and burns through the witches. That's at night. Yeah. yeah. Brandon Baddock, a decent set. Welcome uh, to Austin. Welcome to the Kill Tony universe. There goes Brandon Baddock, everybody. Quick one for him tonight. And that brings us to that undeniable moment in the show where only one thing in the world can possibly happen. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Kill Tony Hall of Famer and record holder for all time sets and interviews with a brand new minute, yet again, the Memphis Strangler, the Tijuana Tarantula, the St. Louis Laredo Lady Killer, the Vanilla Gorilla, the Big Red Machine. This is indeed William Montgomery with a brand new minute. Oh my goodness, it's him! Everybody says dogs are racist, but mine's actually homophobic. I tried to take my dog to San Francisco and she said, and I quote, either board me or euthanize me. Forty-seven-year-old Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny was recently found dead in prison. Russian officials said he died from sudden death syndrome, which is kind of weird because I didn't even realize he knew Hillary Clinton. <laughs> this is a really weird rumor, but I just heard the Aaliyah plane crash happen because the pilot tried to ghost ride the whip. <laughs> Okay, that's my time. Thank you. Wow. Doing it like only he can do it, ladies and gentlemen. William Lights Out Montgomery with another super topical set mixed in with an Aaliyah plane crash. <laughs> Unbelievable. I love it. You cover the uh, death of the, uh, what was it, the journalist. Yeah, Alexei Navalny. I mean, it's it's really crazy how Hillary Clinton really has reached her tentacles even to the far reaches of our planet Earth. I mean, I'm almost a little worried to even talk about her fucking old ogre-looking fucking ass right now because... I, and I'm worried, Tony. I'm worried about myself. Today, I was watching, I was at my perch, and I was watching this homeless man go through the garbage can for a couple of hours, and I finally got up the nerve 
to get a bag of trash that I just made. And I went out there and I started talking to him in this really aggressive southern accent, just trying to scare his ass. And how did he just looking in a mirror? <laughs> all right, all right. Keep, but yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I, I was. I, What'd you do? You kill him? Uh, no, but I did go back out there. I got my pocket knife and I went back out there because he was still out there. And I said, "You can go through the shit. Just clean it all up." And when I get back, I had to leave somewhere. When I get back, all the shit's still on the ground. So I go up to him and I'm like, "Hey, are you gonna clean all this shit up? What are you gonna? Are you leaving it there?" And then I was like, have fun on the streets. And my freaking, I got in trouble. My girlfriend heard me say that, and she was like, you seemed okay, but then when you said have fun on the streets, she took offense to that, so maybe I shouldn't have said that. But he started coming at me, Tony, and I ran up the stairs of my apartment like a little bitch because I didn't want to have a confrontation, but he he came at me. For those of you, let let me just... I just want to let you know why Red Band and I are holding back laughter right now, deeply, because all the stuff that William talks about tends to be, you know, I don't want to give away the kayfabe and the beauty of the show, but, you know, it's not always real with William. You know, the sponsorship, some of the things that he says and does. But when it comes to the living neighbor of his neighborhood, William Montgomery, everything that you hear is real. So when he's saying that he's going to build an escalator in his apartment, not true, right? But when he's talking about seeing things outside of his window or sitting on his perch, these are the things that he talks about in the green room, before a show, in a theater. These are the things he talks about on an airplane, at fancy restaurants, at Mitzi's, after an episode of Kill Tony when everybody's talking about thriving and uh, the future arenas. He goes, this fucking neighbor. (laughs) Like, it's like a real thing. So this story, the reason why Red Band's dying of laughter is because we know that that actually happened today. It did, The yes. only thing I don't believe is the girlfriend. <laughs> that part stood out to me. What would you have guessed? Or what would you say? Like a boyfriend? Or what would you... Or, oh, just, just, or just by myself? Yeah, I assume you're in a trailer rotting away. <laughs> <laughs> I have been. I was eating Butterfingers this weekend in two bites. I was getting. Whoa. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I ate like five of them. Uh, I had the munchies so bad on Saturday night. Oh, yeah, a little weed? Yes, yeah, smoking a little weed, and yeah, I ate five uh, uh, Butterfingers in ten bites. Nice. Wait, no, that's, that's an accomplishment. Solid stats. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good numbers. Are you talking about the actual full-size Butterfinger, or are yes. you going bite size here? No, full-size. Not king cart- size, but regular size. You weren't choking on the Butterfinger? No. I mean, if I can get half of it <sighs> in my mouth, the whole I can get literally, with a little pushing, get it down my throat. Because <laughs> literally, you don't get as, as, uh, as full if you're just kind of forcing it down your throat. And I really wanted to eat Butterfingers. I was having a bad time during one of the sets. All the sets went good at Spokane, but the first Friday, I see these two pieces of shit sitting in the very front, and they immediately position their phone where it looks like it's recording me, which is fine, but then halfway through in real time, I'm thinking they're recording me, I'm bombing. So I'm having this whole inner monologue thing during the set, so it's a disaster in my eyes. I think it was fine for everybody else, but it was scary, Tony. So what did you do? Did you acknowledge the phone? I didn't, but I was acknowledging everybody else. I was calling everybody else a bitch and going really aggressively after everybody, but I was too scared because I thought if I'm wrong... How could a phone be positioned to look like it's recording? Was it flat on the table? It was positioned up on something with the speaker part where closest to me. So, I mean, that means they were recording me. Yeah, you didn't... Think about saying anything? It's too much of a pussy, man. I mean, that's why it killed me earlier with that homeless dude. I should have got my fucking knife out and really finally showed somebody who's boss. Because, Tony, I swear, all I talk about strangling so much. There's a side of me that really wants to start strangling or something. So tonight could have been my chance. I probably could have gotten away with that. What I don't understand, William, what I don't understand... <laughs> You think that's funny, you dumbass? You'd be the first person I fucking got. And everybody would think you just had a fucking heart attack or something, dumbass. Except for all the cum everywhere. 
If you were to choke <laughs> There you go. He trapped you. He trapped you into bombing just then. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> so what I don't understand is, you know, I see you here all the time. I take you on the road all the time. You're always crushing. How is it possible that at your own show where people are specifically buying tickets to William Montgomery, why do you feel like you were bombing? How does that happen? No, I don't think I actually was. Just in my head, I'm thinking that's happening. So it's, I don't, I don't know. I don't think it was actually happening. I think it was actually going okay. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. There you go. Uh, so it like, was okay. <laughs> <laughs> what about a special? We're gonna have a. We're gonna get like a, a special on YouTube from you soon. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, it's taken me uh, freaking coon's age to come up with forty-five oh, oh, minutes. Uh, so. I don't believe you're allowed to be able to. S- I don't think. <laughs> no, no. With the beard, it's taking me a while. Clears. It clears. How long is a what you said? How long is that length of time? It's I guess maybe years. we should ask John D's or D Madness. <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, actually, that reminds me. I think we have something for D Madness, don't we? Can we bring that out now? Would that be crazy to do that? This is kind of improvised. Just grab it right now, and then we'll do that. Um, so, William, is there anything you're passionate about this week? Have you been eating your all-fiber brand buds? I did earlier today. And actually, in Spokane, I had the best pancakes I've ever had in my life. I've never had a pancake with not only buttermilk, but also sourdough uh, mix. And with the pancakes, it was to die for. Okay. <laughs> I'm actually fucking kind of pumped about that. That was in Spokane? Yes, yes. Is that where you learn the terminology, a coon's age? <laughs> yeah, after one of the shows, these uh, five or six kind of scary-looking white dudes came up to me from Coeur d'Alene. Um, but we've yeah, actually, they were pretty nice. We've actually looked it up. A coon's age means a very long time. It is an Americanism that has fallen out of favor and is considered offensive to many people. Coon, oh, coon is a slang for raccoon, coined in the mid-1700s. The term coon's age was first used in the early 1800s, and in fact, owes its origin to the folk belief that raccoons live a long time. Uh, <laughs> Look at that, not racist at all. There you go. It's just about the long life of a little animal. <laughs> there you go, Theon's finally laughing now. He's allowed to laugh. <laughs> For a raccoon, it is a long believed. The folk belief that raccoons are long lived. I never thought it was racist, though. <laughs> well, I mean, well, that's racist to not think it's racist. Actually, it's more racist to not think it's racist. See, all right, this segment feels like a coon yeah, age. Yeah, this is. <laughs> uh, it's getting you're weird. gonna be. You're gonna see this one on YouTube and. Uh, you're going to see this one on YouTube, and you're going to be like, hey. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Heidi, first of all. Yeah, yeah Gina. And, uh, I, I, I haven't said anything about this tonight, but first of all, I'd like you to see how beautifully this cake is decorated. I don't know if you can tilt that towards them without it falling off, but at midnight, it is indeed D. Madness's birthday, everybody. Hey. And we've had a cake decorated uh, as you can tell it says happy birthday D madness on it I don't know if you guys can see that <laughs> and I think it's only fitting that to end tonight's episode of Kill Tony William you should lead us in singing happy birthday to D madness everybody happy birthday to you Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear madness. Happy birthday to you. Blow out the candles! All right, blow out your <laughs> blow out your candles, dear madness. It's right in front of you. Blow, blow. <laughs> And that is tonight's episode. Make some noise for Dan Soder on the road. 
literally right now go to Dan Soder on YouTube and watch his special. I want him to get the full effects of the Kill Tony bump. One more time for Dan Soder. How about one more time for the great and powerful Mark Norman, everybody? MarkNormanComedy.com for all of his tour dates. Tuesday with stories. We might be drunk. Two of the best podcasts out there. Comedy. Check out Soder's podcast, Soder. How about one more time for Jet Ski, everybody? She's on tour. JetSkiJohnsonComedy.com? JetSkiJohnson.com. Fuck yeah. The drawing from Ryan J. Ebelt is in. It's absolutely stunning. Uh, thank you to Squarespace, Shopify, Red Rose, Yellow Rose, Gel Blaster. Let's see the drawing from Chris Rogers. Whoa, Cam and David Jolly. Unbelievable. How about one more time for the band? Terrell Shahid, Michael Gonzalez, Jetski Johnson, John Dees. One more time for the birthday boy, D Madness. Check out the Sunset Strip, ATX.com. Love you guys. Congratulations to J.P. Hinsdale joining us at the Kia Forum. Still some tickets left for Madison Square Garden. Uh, we will see you guys soon. We love you. Thank you. Good night, everybody. The Sunset Strip Comedy Club in Austin, Texas is now open. Check out Red Band's secret show every Thursday. Go to sunsetstripatx.com for tickets.